happy friends I have a click kits pep rally video for you today or layout I should say so every month once a month we get together um, cl the click kit design team and the click kits members um, who get the club or get the kits and we do our thing and we share layouts that we or spread or things so it could be project life it could be just projects that you make with your kits and we share what we've been making so this is the layout that I made for that and I will say that I am super impressed that I've been getting a good probably six layouts or so um, or projects done with my kits lately. So I am really loving that. I'm loving that each month I am able to make that amount of stuff. So I'm curious what, how many layouts do you guys get with your kits when you get a kit club? And it doesn't have to be click kits. Um, if that's not what you get, but I, I would like you guys to answer that in the comment section below. I thought it would be kind of fun to add a question. Um, but the kit that I'm using this month is the July, uh, main kit and it's the pool party kit and it is using Ellie studio, uh, live, love, or live, laugh, love. <laughs> that's how it comes. There's all these words. And it's easy to get them mixed up. <laughs> um, and it is just a super fun collection. It's got tons of colors. I think the hardest part about this collection and this kit is that it is super, super colorful. So where it's really fun because, I mean, all my we have I have tons of summer pictures so far. And they're all really colorful. But I, I think that because my photos are so colorful and because the papers are so colorful I think that's the hardest part that I've had with this kit but it has been really fun and challenging to uh, try to get that so right now I'm trying to figure out what I'm doing I decided not to use that full sheet of <coughs> excuse me stripes and these are the photos that I'm using and I am using quite a bit of photos I thought it would be fun to show and I've been trying to do this more is just use more photos on my layouts because I generally have a lot of photos for different events or different things that we go and do like this day we went to the zoo and we went to the zoo so of course we had tons of photos <coughs> oh my goodness <clears throat> But to go with this kit, I thought it would it was only perfect or natural <laughs> for me to pull out some kind of media and add extra color. So, which is why I chose to use the white. And I am really trying to go for a really, really light hand at uh, mixed media and this watercolor. So I am just kind of blocking it around. It looks kind of crappy right now, but... Um, I'm going to try to blend some of the colors so it kind of feels like it, the water just moved around and ended up being, you know, the colors mixed a little bit. And so it goes into some of the other colors. So this is the Prima, this is Prima watercolor set. And this is the Tropicals kit or set. Um, I like it. It's definitely a higher grade um, watercolor than just like whatever you would get at Michael's. Um, but it's not amazing either. <laughs> so, I mean, it's not horrible by any means. I'm not trying to diss Prima because they're pretty good. They're very pigmented. But there's definitely a key to learning how to use these. So, I'm finding that. And blending and the in the trays are the key I think for getting the look that you want I did splatter a little bit because I wanted to have a little bit of that extra color and that's all I did and right now it looks kind of weird <laughs> because it's just this blob uh, but that's the cool thing about mixed media is that you can just kind of do a blob and add your photos and it doesn't look like a blob anymore 
And like I said, I just was going to keep the mixed media simple, but I did want to add some color because there's color in the papers, there's color in my photo. So um, real quick, while I'm putting and trying to figure out where I want to put my photos, those three smaller photos, I'm trying to figure it out. It's going to take me a little while. I kind of move things around. I want to make sure it's fine. Uh, unwarp my paper because <laughs> my paper was pretty warped. I didn't use any gesso because I didn't think I was going to use that much watercolor. Um, and I still want to add a gesso because I didn't want that it to be flowy. I just wanted it to, <clears throat> I wanted it to soak into the paper a little bit, but so I did have to move that over though, that parrotfish over a little bit. But anyway, so um back to pep rally day so what i want you guys to do is make sure that when you head over to instagram if you're an instagram person and make sure you use the hashtag uh click kits uh july pep rally so it's ck july pep rally you also or ck pep rally but you also could use the hashtag collect underscore collect connect underscore create so it's click connect and create so i'll make sure i have those down in the info box below so that you know what to how to find it but that's the hashtag that you use for the pep rally and that's how you can share the layouts that you've been making with your july click kits um and, or you can look and see what everybody else has been making. There is lots of the design team sharing, but there's also tons of members sharing. And this is the thing that I love about the pep rally is that it really connects us. And I love seeing what, what you guys have started doing with the kits. Cause I mean, by the time the kit, the pep rally is, we've pretty much used our kits almost. We've used them for a whole month. And so it's just fun to like kind of put our kit down, put our kit away, and just kind of enjoy what you guys are making now. So I, so now I gotta stop saying so. Ugh. It's just one of those filler words. Um, I knew I wanted to put the big photo on the bottom at this point. I'm not entirely happy with the, the flow of those, the top three photos but I didn't know how else to put them without them looking really weird so that's how it worked um and this cut file I actually created by using my own brush script so I'll make sure I have links below to how to brush script and create your own cut file because that's what I did it's super easy it just takes a couple of extra steps, but it really just makes a layout. It makes your layout, right? If you can take your own handwriting. And, and this is the fun part is that I use the watercolor, <laughs> but it doesn't have to look watercolor-y, right? Is that, is that a word? Um, so I have the words at the top and there is no apostrophes or anything because I didn't do that when I was doing the brush script. So I purposely left them out knowing that it could be annoying at some point. At some point I might notice and be not okay with it, but at this point it needs to be okay. So what I am doing is the word art because it's going to say one man's trash is another's art. Um, and I took those letter, that letter, the letters for art, and I backed the white with some of that green pattern paper that was in the kit. And I am just using the main kit. I don't know if I said that already, but, uh, yeah, so I'm just using the main kit. I decided to just stick with the main kit because that's what some people have. So sometimes I've been mixing the main kit and the traveler's notebook kit. Sometimes I just use the traveler's notebook kit, but I really just wanted to use one. Just stick with one for this. And I really like the way that this looks by having those label tags from down from the one branding strip on the different colors. So 
I know different people do this different ways. A re is amazing <clears throat> at color coding, color, however you call that. There's probably a word for it. But having everything coordinate in a section in an area where it's all the same color. Um, she's amazing. So at doing that. But this is my own version of that. <laughs> And I did decide to put a little that that wood down at the bottom. I just felt like it needed something else, just something else down there, and that gives me a place to if I want a journal, and I then can just use most of these. And I'm just gonna put the name of the zoo and aquarium. And these photos are from a trip that me and my kids and when my mother was here, we went to the port like down near the port of Tacoma, um, the, there's a zoo down there and it's, I want to say it's the port authority, but I'm not positive, but, um, it's the Tacoma zoo and aquarium and it's a decent zoo and aquarium. It's not huge. It's not small. It's a good size. Um, it's definitely, we got a, year long pass and so that definitely made it worth it because then you can't come back more than once and you can see everything and the aquarium's really fun the kids like it it's not really huge but there's a few things that and it's really good with the um pacific northwest um information and sea creatures and all the animals that sea animals that live there so um but, so these pictures are from an exhibit that they were doing where they took all the trash that was coming into the Port of Tacoma and they collected it and a local artist who does this kind of stuff makes sculptures out of the trash <laughs> that comes in. And this artwork is amazing. I don't know if the close-ups are going to show you as as well as these photos are. But I mean, this stuff, these, besides that these were huge, they were amazing. They looked so much like a clownfish, like a puffin. There's a shark in here, a seahorse. They're so colorful. I mean, it it was amazing. And so, thus the name One Man's Trash is another art. So, all I'm doing right now is just adding some last bits. Um, I tried to add a few different colored items in the colored coded area, <laughs> right? So I'm color coordinating. Um, and then I added, I tried to add some of the enamel dots in the areas where I was using those colors or I had watercolor with some of the puffy stickers from the kit. And that's pretty much it. I really did hardly anything on this layout, but I feel like it really just helped things pop. Now, here's another thing that I didn't do on screen is I felt like you couldn't see the the title so I went around and I faux stitched it and then you know with my pen and then I went around it with a marker and the color that each thing was so that really makes everything pop and I really love that that the way that that looks and I did each different color for the different colors so make sure that you guys go on Instagram and you go on the blog and you check out all of the other ladies work from the design team and the other members from the kit club and just see what everyone's creating share what you're creating because we'd love to see it and i will see you guys next time i hope you guys have a great scrappy week bye